Hi, thanks for watching. If you'd like to watch a full casted game of Frozen Cortex, then stay right there. Alright, we're in game now. I'm the yellow team up here. My opponent, Bin, is the blue team down here. Now, what I've got to try and do is get the ball from here into the scoring zone down here for seven points, or I want to pick up these point zones all over the pitch for two points. So I'm just going to show you the first turn. What I did there was make my player wait to give me more time. The turn ends when the ball is picked up, so something you can do strategically is pause a little bit. Here you can see I've tried to set up a lane that's going to allow me to get these point zones, whereas Bin, on the other hand, with his defense, has tried to be quite aggressive and kind of push into the middle here. I don't think he was quite expecting me to do this, as you can see he hasn't really covered this route. So if we uh, then continue into turn two, we can see what happens next. Right, you can see I made it on a run down there, I managed to pick up six points along the way, which is pretty good. But uh, Bin is kind of remaining stoical, he knows that um, I'm going to have to try and get more points, I'm going to have to try and push past him at some point, because the rules of the game mean that you have to keep making forward progress. So I get to here, and pretty much the only option I have left is to allow myself to come in here and be tackled, because Bin's got complete control of the area. So I did know that going into this, decided to go for the points instead of the more risky scoring zone, so let's see what happens next. Bin's able to put in a very simple tackle here and take the ball away from me. Now I'm anticipating that and I feel like I've got pretty good coverage of him. It's going to be really difficult for him to move the ball out to this side. You can see here I've got this guy here and uh, I've got other guys kind of covering that route up here. I'm just going to take a quick look at the stats for the players. Um, here you can see on my team um, that I've got a couple of really fast players that I haven't really managed to make that much use of here. Whereas Bin has opted for kind of generally a more balanced approach to his team. Um, the burst stat is a little burst of speed you get when you pick up the ball um, and here you can see the intercept stat for some of these has been boosted as well. So Bin doesn't look to be in that great a situation but if we now look at what happens next He actually uses this angle really nicely to slip the pass out to the far side. I hadn't counted on him coming all the way back here. And that's one of the ways Cortex works as a game. Um, you need to kind of anticipate everything your opponent can possibly do in order to shut down those avenues. And now looking at this situation, he's actually in a very strong position because my defense is now way over here. So let's take a look. So Ben's able to take it on a big run all the way down here, even picking up a point zone on the way. And uh, if you take a look at what my players do here, we don't quite manage to make it all the way over there. I kind of figure that he's probably going to throw the ball to this area, but instead he takes it on a nice long run. And... And that is the conclusion of that part of the game. He just manages to really dominate me here. Just with that simple move out here, there's not all that much I can do. So uh, now let's continue and take a look at the next play in the sequence. So after that score, uh, we're now going to swap over and Bin is on offense and I'm on defense. So that's one of the things that happens after you get a score zone in this match. You kind of get a reset. So let's take a look at Bin's first turn. Pretty straightforward there, going for the pickup and then bringing all of his players forward in a line. You can see the contrast with what I did before, which was to, to try and lock down this area. Now, Bin has nine points against my six, so he's got to try and consolidate that lead. So as you remember from before, he's got the ball here and he can choose whether to pass or run. He actually decides to go for the big pass kind of right down the middle here. Um, and he's actually going to try and sneak his way all the way into the scoring zone. Now, what he's not counting on here is the fact that I've got a really, really fast player out here. You can see what a difference the stats make in this very next play. So I'm actually able to sneak all the way around here and just cut him off from breaking right the way through here. And I've also anticipated that. So as you can see, as I'm coming around here, I'm sending players up here in advance of being able to get the ball. 
Now, I don't really know what gaps he's going to leave uncovered uh, as I pass the ball out of here, but I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to take it in that direction. So what happens now is that I'm able to sneak the ball out just on this very fine angle through here. Um, and that's kind of been, didn't quite manage to just step over there, but I, I've got this player into space and it makes a huge difference to what happens. So having got the ball up here, Bin doesn't really know exactly what I'm about to do. Uh, there's quite a lot of possibilities from here, and that's one of the things that makes micro pretty interesting. Um, you don't have a sort of necessarily right thing to do all the time in tight situations. Um, so let's take a look at what I do do. All right, so I decide from here, uh, there's a couple of things I could do, as I mentioned. Um, Bin's expecting me to go for this point zone to pick up the easy two, so he actually brings his player down here. That gives me enough time, uh, as I've already guessed he's going to do that, to take the ball all the way out here and try and push him back, take him into a difficult and annoying situation, kind of snooker him. So that's what happens. Uh, I end up getting tackled here, but I've now got one player there. I've got another player here as well. So from this situation down here where he was about to score, I've actually now put him in a pretty difficult spot. So what happens there is that he's able to run out from here, but because I've had this mass of players, uh, we're getting into quite a kind of almost rugby-like ruck here, where he's moving out, but I'm able to push him back again, and I pick up the ball here with one of my players, and that leaves me open to take it all the way up there and in for the score. All right, going into the final play now, uh, I, we're getting quite close to the turn limit in the match, as the match has gone on for quite a long time. There were quite a lot of delays up here. So I basically only have three turns left in which I have to keep control of the ball. Um, if Bin were to get it and score some points here, he could still win. So this is about playing defensively now. So what I decide to do here is just pick the ball up and bring a couple of guys down here, because I know that he's gonna be trying to sweep in with his closest players up here. As you can see, I successfully get the block there by being static, managed to anticipate him coming through. And in fact, that short pass there, that means I'm able to pick up another two points. Um, so all I have to do now really is just wait it out. And there we go, simple pass there to end the match. 